and welcome to Homemade Mathematics. My name is Sierra and today I'm going to be showing you an introduction to exponents. We're going to be talking about why they're important, what they are, how they work, and then we'll go over some examples of how to turn something that's in exponential form to a number and vice versa. So if any of those things sound interesting to you, keep watching. I first want to start out with why we need exponents. Because if we don't know why we need them, why would we want to learn them, right? So I always like to start out with the why. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my calculator here. Um, because one of the examples of how we use exponents is in something that we call scientific notation. Right? And what that is, is we use scientific notation to represent either really large numbers or really, really small numbers. And to do that, in that scientific notation, we have exponents. Um, so exponents show up in a lot of different areas in math, but one of the main real world purposes for it is in science and scientific notation. Um, so what I mean by that is like our really, really big numbers. So if you were to take your calculator, or your phone, and type in, I'm gonna just type in as many nines as it'll let me, times as many eights as it'll let me, and we're gonna get this weird thing here, right? Which that's not really how scientific notation looks. How we would write this in scientific notation would be um, like 8.88 times, and then that e to the 17, you might also see it as 10 to the 17. All right, so you can see here the second part of my scientific notation has an exponent in it. All right, so that is one of the main uses for it. So now let's look at how exponents work. But look at how they work. I'm not going to look at this scary scientific notation one. We're just going to look at a very basic example of exponents that you might have seen before. Your teacher said, don't worry about those yet, but if you're here, you are now worried about them. All right, so we have um, two numbers here with our exponent, and they mean different things. All right, so this first number, your big number, that is your base number. Right? And your base number is the number that is going to be repeated through multiplication, which I'll explain a little better in a little bit. Our second number that we have, that is our exponent. And our exponent tells us how many times we are repeating that base number. An exponent is really just another operation, right? So far you've learned adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. An exponent is just another operation, just like those four. So you might remember learning multiplication as just repeated addition, right? Three times five is really just three plus three plus three plus three plus three, right? Three fives, right? Exponents is actually just repetitive multiplication. So multiplication is repeated addition. Exponents is repeated multiplication. What I mean by that is we're going to have our base number. Like I said, that's our number that we're multiplying. And then we're going to have our exponent. That's the one telling us how many times to multiply. So three to the second power, that's not three times two. That's three times itself, right? Which we know three times three is really just nine, right? So three squared, again, it's not the same as three times two. It's three times itself this many times. Okay, so now that we know this number tells us which number is being repeated, and this number tells us the number of times that's being repeated, we should be able to do a couple of examples. So I'm gonna put two up on the board here, and if you wanna go ahead and pause and give them a try, here are your two problems. Otherwise, just keep watching and I'll go over them. All right, so we have two to the third. So again, this is telling us the number that's being repeated. Okay, so we are gonna repeat multiplying two three times. So that means we have two times two times two, which two times two is four times two is eight. Right? Another one you might see is four to the first, which means we have the number four 
and we're multiplying it one time. So really, four times itself, not really even times itself, there's just one four, right? So four, anything to the first is really just that number. What if we tried a couple of problems where instead we were given this and we had to put it into exponential form? Let's give some of those a try. This time, you might notice we have the expanded version, right? So we want to put this into exponential form, all right? So this first one here, I know that three kind of makes it a little confusing. That's problem three. It's not 3.5, all right? So kind of ignore that three. So five times five times five times five. All right, remember we're writing, wanting to write this in exponential form. So this time we're trying to figure out what these two numbers are. All right, so first we want to decide what is our base? What number is being repeated? All right, we have five being multiplied over and over. So that would be our base. And then our exponent is the number of times we multiply that five. So we have one, two, three, four, five to the fourth. This next one is a little trickier. Again, that's just problem four, not 4.2. Um, so this time we have two times six times six. Notice we can only put these things together if they share that same base. So if I'm looking at this, does my two have anything to go with? We just have these two sixes that we could combine, All right? What's our base? What's being repeated? Six. And how many of them are there? Two. All right, but this is not just six squared, All right? This is six times six, six squared, times two. So you also need to make sure, make sure you put your symbol in there. You do not forget that two. All right, so the simplified version of that is two times six squared, and we can't simplify it any further unless we wanted to actually multiply it out and get the number. So we could do six squared, six times six, which would be 36, and then times our two, which would be 72. So of course you can always turn these into numbers, um, but we're just trying to get them into exponential form for this example. And then our last one here. I know we always love when those letters come in but they really just work the same way, all right? We're gonna look for our bases, a number that a number or variable which represents a number is being repeated, all right? We can see here that we have seven being repeated, one, two, three times. So that means we're gonna have seven to the third. I think it's in seven. Make sure my note is seven. And then I also have n, times n. So just like 3 times 3 is 3 squared, n times n is going to be n squared. So you might have noticed throughout this video how I was reading these off, and I realized I did not touch on that, so I do want to briefly touch on how you actually say these things. Um, so for example, there's lots of different ways you might hear it. Um, so you might hear 3 to the power of 2, um, three to the second power, anything raised to the second or anything where you have an exponent of two is also what we know as squared because you're taking something times itself, so you're doubling it. Um, like for example, if you have a square with size of five feet by five feet, you square it, you double it, five times five is 25, five squared is 25. Um, so that is how you might hear that. If this is a three, then that you can, you know, to the power of three, to the third power, um, or you could also call it cubed. And then anything after that, it's just going to be to the fourth power, fifth power, to the power of six, um, and so on. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me at all, please go ahead and comment those down below. I will be sharing in my next few videos the properties of exponents um, and how they work, their rules. So if you are interested in learning those, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thanks and I hope to see you next time.